Why, hello guys, I'm the Anime Uprise. Today, we're doing our first episode review of Shogaki no Soma. It's not really the first episode though, it's episode 7. Man, I'm late. What happens in this episode? It starts off with Izami Nakiri doing his speech. He does, he does say some things that somewhat piss me off. <laughs> really, he's taking away, he's shutting down all the clubs. Because he doesn't like them or doesn't want creativity or something like that. I don't know really why. He doesn't like them, but it's like, why take them out of the clubs? Like, they should have an ability to study out of class time. That's what clubs are for. That's what all the clubs are for, in fact. So it's really weird how he does things. It just pissed me off a little bit. Then he does say, oh yeah, the Elite Ten and some handpicked students are being handpicked by him, and the Elite Ten are being turned into Central, which decide everything. And the fact that in even in classes they have no creativity with the dishes, they have to do it the exact way to even get it marked or even do it. If, you, if they don't do it, they're getting expelled. Yeah, it's freaking. I hate this guy. I think he's created for the sole purpose of hating him because I hate that guy. He's a son of a gun. I hate him so much. Oh, God. But after that, okay, we're going. I'm going to try to this as short as possible. So we're going on. After that, we see some agents taking down some groups. I think the first one we see is the Skewer group or whatever. Forget the guy's name, I'll put it on the screen somewhere. Then they try to take it down, they give him the order to vacate this place in like 10 days or something. And freaking, it goes right to every freaking research society club thing. And it's like, oh god, why? Then, um, Eason, he's the guy. He's one of the elite ten. I forget. He's like eight seat, nine, eight or nine seat. But like, frick, he's just. I don't like him. Like, I hate him more than he's on me. He's a freaking terrible guy. Cause like, what he does to freaking people, they give him hope. Like, he accepts all the shokugekis, and it's like, okay, we got hope. We can beat this guy. And we can save our society. But if we lose, we lose the club and the person who this get, gets expelled. Which would happen to the secure club. They lost the club and their chief. The guy challenged me. He's in and freak. He lay, um he he lost because he bribed the judges into not even judging a food. He just bribed them the he just wins that he broke the Shokuyaki. It's freaking terrible, so they can't enjoy Gekki no more, and it's freaking terrible. I'm just facing up, I'm just summarizing the episode, if you want the full thing, then you know, watch the episode, <laughs> go to Crunchyroll, kiss anime, I don't care what you use, do something, but freak. So after that, <clears throat> all the clubs and everyone just gets torn up, gets panicking, because the subject is broken, they can't, so Gekki, there's like hundreds upon hundreds of Shukuki challenges for reason. The when they got back from that Shukuki, they were all cancelled. Frick! <laughs> then after that little scene, it goes back to the Polar Star dormitory, and they get some, get some flashbacks, and everyone just being all emotional because. Eason, I even know it's not the Polar Star Dormitory isn't a club, it's apparently really old and just the only dormitory or something, I don't know. And they're gonna take it down, even though it's not a club, it's like it came out of nowhere, like why are you taking it down? What the frick? But so it's like okay man, okay, okay. Alright, so they get that notice you know, like vacate in like 10 days or some crap like that. And Man, man, um, they get all emotional. The table goes 
They're just like how, how we grew it here. The entrance test, the freaking making stuff, just all the good memories from past seasons. They're just freaking, they get all emotional and freaking, oh man. It's just an emotional scene, like everyone's getting tired and they seem to knock you just freaking, it's really tired, feeling you terrible about herself. I don't know why, but it's like she's feeling bad. Then you can hear out this freaking, he, knowing you can hear out, you, you probably know what he's gonna do. He goes to challenge me, but it's like, no one in the door knows he's going. So like, he gives us a challenge, he's like, I'm doing this for me. Not them, not for the door, I'm doing this for me. I want to grow my cooking there. So it's like, damn, man, freaking Nick Era is awesome. And, so he's going in, the show he starts, or starts at the end of the episode, then we learn that he's in the, the, the freaking scumbag that he is. He moved up the 10 days to the, the exact same day as Shogeki. So as Shogeki's going on, Dormitory is trying to get evacuated from the student because the students are getting vacated in place. So it's like, damn. So like, he got set up so he can't even save the dormitory even if he wins. But no one thinks he's gonna win because he doesn't, he can't do the thing. So it's really terrible that I really do think that he's a, he's a scumbag, he should just die in a hole. I hate him. So then the episode, that's what happens. This so week he starts and we're learn what happens next episode. Well, I know what happens, I read the manga. Like, <laughs> see how this episode, guys? My opinion on this episode is that he's a scumbag, he's always a scumbag. And the people who voted for Azami to be president, or yeah, president of the school or principal, are also scumbags. I am hating these people. But this episode was actually pretty good. But anyways, guys, th thanks you, thank you for watching. This is my first tip on becoming a generic anime YouTuber. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Please leave a like and subscribe. See you all.